What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to another Hogs Capital video. We're going to go ahead and keep on going with our polka dot video series. Again, I just want to share with you a couple of the different opportunities uh, as far as crowd loans go that you may want to participate in. Uh, a few of these opportunities are not yet crowd loans or at least have not yet applied for them. However, in the future, they are expected to apply. Um, so I felt like it would still make sense to go ahead and share these opportunities with you. Uh, the one we're going to talk about today is Reef. It was formerly known as Reef Finance, but now they're just known as Reef. Um, and previously before it was like an Ethereum uh, chain. It was on the Ethereum chain, moved to Binance. Uh, now it has its own mainnet that launched, I think maybe about a month ago. Uh, and the reason I'm doing the video today is a couple things I'm going to show you how to do in this video. I'm going to number one, share with you and show you the Reef. Um, reef.js uh, wallet extension that is available. I'm going to show you guys how to use the reef console to stake your reef on the main net. So that way, if maybe you've got your reef sitting on Binance network or Ethereum network, you can now move it to main net and start staking, select validators and do everything that way. I'm going to share with you guys how to go ahead and link your reef main net account to an EVM compatible address, uh, similar to how we did with Rose and CKB uh, so that way you can go ahead and transfer from mainnet to um, the EVM compatible chains that do exist out there. We've seen a few chains that do give the same opportunity as well. Um, you know, with uh, Harmony One, we did the same thing. You had your Harmony mainnet address um, on MetaMask, but then you also had the EVM address. I'll show you how to make sure you have both of them. And I'll show you a couple of other opportunities that are in testnet on a uh, reef so that way you can go ahead and play with like reef swap and different things using testnet tokens um and just you know help the network so let's go ahead and let us jump right into this video guys all right uh so always we always start with the reef home um and the reef main net here guys uh this is where you'll get a lot of information lets you know that reef version uh version 8 has gone live <clears throat> Uh, as far as Reef going, uh, we know that they're working Cosmos, Avalanche. We already know Binance and Ethereum are live uh, as far as chains that it's available on. And Polkadot is supposed to be the next wheel here um, in which we will be a part of for Reef Finance. So what I'm really here to share with you guys is I want to show you guys the Reef.js um, wallet extension. And this is very much similar to our Polkadot extension, guys. It's exact same setup built on the substrate. Uh, you know, utilizing, um, you know, the whole polka dot network. So great opportunity here. Uh, and with that, you have the reef console guys. And this console is very much just like a uh, polka dot .js IO that we use, uh, to interact with our polka dot. This basically looks the exact same where I showed you how to go do crowd loans. You can stake from here. You can view all your balances from here. This thing is just exactly like the polka dot network. Now, when you come to the console guys, you do have the opportunity for test net and main net. <clears throat> So just make sure you guys are on the right one for today's video. Everything I'm doing is testnet. I'm going to be doing all testnet transactions. However, I've already done the main net staking. So I've already done this on main net, but I'm showing you what you can do on testnet. So I, that way I don't just continue to spend uh, tokens guys. All right. So if you want to go to live net, you'll just switch between main net and testnet guys go on to it and switch. So as you can see, <clears throat> I already have my testnet tokens in all the wallets that I'm doing, and I'm also already staking. So I'm going to show you how to do all of that. And what you'll need to go ahead and do to get the testnet tokens, I'll have everything included for you in the docs here. You can read through everything on how to set up your accounts and do everything. Uh, but if you scroll to the bottom, they'll have a little link for you, um, which will take you to the reef matrix chat that should open up for you element.io. And you'll just have to register. And basically what you'll do is you'll do drip with your wallet address and they'll send you a thousand reef tokens. So that way you can go ahead uh, and participate. So you see, I've funded all the wallets. We've got test tokens. Uh, we can go out and we can do a couple of things. Just make sure you get them from um, that link that I have included for you guys. All right. So with the test tokens, what are some things that you'd want to go ahead and do? Why are we moving the main net? Uh, this is an old interface. 
if you're using Binance, if you're on like the BNB chain or you're using the Ethereum chain, this would have been an older interface that you would have come to, you would have interacted, you would have created liquidity pools for yourself or you'd have done staking. Uh, however, right now they don't have any uh, uh, staking opportunities and bonds that are available right now. Supposedly they're supposed to be opening up new ones, but it doesn't matter because we're moving the main net regardless. So when you click on all of these, uh, if you're on the Binance chain like I am, or this is where I kept the majority of my tokens, uh, you're unable to actually do anything. And you can go to the Ether network and you can go ahead and create liquidity pool pairs and you can go ahead and do staking. But you always have to make sure that it is going to be... Um, cost effective and it makes uh it makes sense to do it guys um don't go into a staking pool on ethereum or a liquidity pool on ethereum if you're going to end up having to pay gas to go in and gas to come out and if you're not going to make in staking and liquidity pools more to cover your gas fees for the in and the out of that transaction it may not be worth it and you may end up losing so again we're moving the mainnet. You should follow this video and move to mainnet. So how do you move your tokens to mainnet? Um, there are a couple of ways about going about that. Uh, you can go ahead and get an EVM compatible address binded to your mainnet wallet. That way you can send tokens uh, from your EVM compatible addresses to your mainnet. <clears throat> and they'll be in there for you because again, it's EVM compatible. So you have that option. I'm gonna show you how to do binding. Uh, the team is also currently working on the opportunity to bind existing EVM addresses, but that's not available yet. Uh, so we'll be keeping an eye for that. So if you have maybe your whole MetaMask that's already been in existence for years, you can bind it to this, but uh, in a time to come soon in the future. So. This is Reef Swap, and you can bind, you can pool, and you can swap here, guys. Uh, to do the swap, once again, just be on Testnet when you're doing this. Uh, let's go ahead and switch accounts. <clears throat> we'll go to the Reef Test account right here, and we will just go ahead. So, so you can do swaps. I've already done some swaps, but just so you guys can see, um, you're going to want to make sure you are on Testnet. So we'll go here. We'll go to Settings. You can see it's on Mainnet. We're going to switch to Testnet. Hit Apply and all of our token supply and everything should show up for us. And again, the steps that I'm doing for you here are the same exact steps uh, you would be doing on the main, all right? So you come here, you wanna do a little swap out. You can see I've already done a little swap out, guys. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll swap another 100 just for the purpose of the video so you can see how the swapping works. <clears throat> Of course, it works like swapping on every other uh, swap that we've done. You'll come here. The pooling is giving a little bit of issue, so don't fight it too hard, guys, if you go in there. Um, I believe the team is working on that. A couple of times I tried to enter the pool and it told me that my amounts didn't match up, although I had the same 50-50 amounts. Uh, so there are a few different errors and bugs that they're having. But again, we're on testnet, so we don't really care as much because it costs us nothing. All right. So that's how you do swaps, guys. That's how you swap your token. You can see the swap works. The swap is live. Uh, the pool, unfortunately, like I said, is, is giving me some problems. I tried to enter a couple of different pools um, in a few different ways, and each time it was just giving me different error messages. Now, now, when it comes time to binding, guys, you can only bind one Ethereum address to one mainnet address. So you can't have like 15 different uh, receivable EVM compatible addresses. So Reef Scan, and I'm going to show you, Reef Scan is basically just like Binance Scan, guys, and Ether Scan and all the other. It's a block explorer. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like and how to add. So let me go to an account that I don't think has uh, an EVM address. Well, let me go to one that I know has an EVM address first so you can see what that looks like. And once again, uh, when you go to Reef Scan, it's on mainnet. You're going to want to move it to testnet so that way you can um, see everything that we're looking at. So we're going to paste our testnet address in here. And when I paste my testnet address, you can see I have my uh, my Reef mainnet. And then you can see I have my Ether EVM compatible address that is linked and tied to this. All right. So that way I can send and receive tokens um, that way. And that's how you can get tokens onto the mainnet if you're using like an EVM address. All right. Uh, let's now go to an address that does not have uh, the EVM compatible address. So that way I can show you how to add one. I got to find one that doesn't. I think I might, nope, that one's got one too. So let us go to the control account. Maybe the control account doesn't have one. We'll try it on the control account. 
All right, so perfect. Our control account, as you can see, guys, uh, we only have an, uh, a mainnet address. We don't have the EVM address. So I'm going to now show you how to get the EVM address two ways you can do it. The simplest way on testnet to do this, let me make sure I am on testnet. All right, good, I'm on testnet. And let's go back to bind. Let it load the tokens up. And again, you'll want to have your testnet tokens already in here because you got to pay a little baby fee uh, to do this. Uh, let's go ahead and let us bind the account. I need to switch my accounts uh, because that one already has it. We're going to go to the control account. All right, there we go. And now it should let me go ahead and bind. There we go. We'll hit bind. It's going to pop up. We got to pay the little baby fee. And again, if you're using testnet tokens, that baby fee should not be very much of anything. Give it a second. It should come up with a confirmation. And then we should have a randomly generated Ethereum address us now associated with our reef account. There we go. We've got it. Lovely. Let's go ahead and copy this. Let's refresh and let's see if they've added our EVM chain. Give it a second, guys. Sometimes it takes, you know, two seconds to go ahead and update. We'll now search for it again. Nope, still not there yet. What's going on? So long as I've seen it up, oh, there it is. Just upgraded itself. There you go. Now we have EVM compatible addresses, guys. All right, that's how you do it. So if you've got your, your reef sitting on ether, you can go ahead and send it over here and it'll be on mainnet for you. Same thing with BNB. Uh, another way you can do it, and one way that I actually did it, because again, I try to do it uh, the most cost effective way um, without having to pay unnecessary gas fees. All I did is I sent my reef um, from my mainnet wallet uh, that I had on the Binance chain. I sent it to Hotbit. Hotbit has the option where you can receive reef in either Ether, Binance, or reef mainnet. And when you send it off, I sent it off in reef mainnet. So I sent Binance token and I pulled off reef mainnet tokens. All right. Uh, same thing how I showed you guys. If you check that Matic video, I showed you how I moved my Matic from the Ether, Ether mainnet um, using KuCoin and I sent it off using Matic mainnet. Um, and I just avoided unnecessary bridge fees and stuff like that. So you guys can try that way if you want to. Another EVM way that you can uh, create the EVM account for yourself, it will be randomly generated for you. You would come here uh, to evm.reef.scan, reef, um, sorry, evm.reefscan.com, and you can go ahead and link your accounts. Right now, they only have the option to do the randomly generated one. Um, the, the, the linking of the uh, existing ones you have will be coming soon. But for what I found, uh, using ReefSwap is just as easy to get a random one, not hard at all. Now, let's go to the part that many of you guys may be waiting for, and let's go to staking. All right. Now, staking is just just like staking on Polkadot, guys, it's the exact same thing, nothing different about it. You'd come over here to staking. All you're going to do is you're going to come to account actions. You can see I've already done um, some staking. This is staked and this is currently in stash right now waiting uh, to be staked. Once you're here, you're going to want to come over to stash. It's always going to recommend to you that you have a different stash and a different control account. Don't use the same accounts. If you have to, you can just create a brand new account in your uh, reef.js wallet. It's very simple. Uh, you can make as many accounts as you would like to. Um, also, you're not going to want to use uh, the same control account that you already have that's controlling uh, something else. So just be aware of a couple of those different things. All right. So let's go ahead and let's find an account that does not have or is already controlling um, something right here. Let's see. Da, 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 da. That's already controlling. I don't know if this is controlling something. All right. Let's distinct between the two. There we go. All right, there we go. Now we've got the differences in the count. We want to go ahead and we will stake. Uh, we'll just do 100 because I don't know how much is in this wallet. We'll do the bound and we're going to bond those. Sign and submit transaction. All right, and there we go. With, oh, what has happened? All right, already bonded. Okay, so I'm already using from that a control account. So I can't use from the same stash account. So let me go ahead and select a different one. We are using stash, we're using control, and then we will use reef test. Oh no, that's already controlling. Is that, uh, uh, where is it? All right, 
the three stashes already using as a stash account. So I don't think I can use it as another stash. I need to have a separate stash account. All right. So hopefully that's a better stash account. Let's try it again this way. All right. And again, guys, like I said, make sure you have multiple stash accounts. I'm already staking, so I ran into that issue, but I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. Um, so if not, there we go. Transaction went successfully. So now that we are staking or no, we haven't actually staked yet. All we have done is bonded our tokens. Now we need to go ahead and finish the staking process. Come over here to nominate. You're going to go ahead and select a couple of different validators for yourself. You normally want to make sure you check the validator status, check the uptime, check the fees, check the recent slashing, check the rewards payouts, check all those things, guys. But this is a test net, so I'm just selecting. We're going to go ahead and nominate, sign transaction again. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one more time. Sign transaction. And there we go. Just like that. We are now nominating and we are staking all of our tokens right there. Uh, so it's just that simple, guys. Uh, hopefully that video was helpful um but once again you should now be able to set up your polka.js uh mainnet wallet um using the extension uh you can also go ahead and use the con uh the console.reef so that way you can access all your different accounts you can do your staking and the different things you've got reef swap where you can practice doing a couple of swaps i'm sure the team and the network will be grateful for that as it is in testnet mode uh the pools aren't really working but reef swap is one of the easiest places to use to bind your account to an evm address that way you can send and receive uh from evm chains to the main net all right and you've got your staking opportunities and i'll include all links for you guys so that way you can access whatever you need hopefully this video is helpful guys and i will catch you on the next one